Hello and welcome friends, my name is Frenzy here once again bringing you some Kerbal Space Program and today we're looking at real scale boosters. This is the stock alike version, there is a couple different versions. So um, there's the just standard which is applied to real, real scale solar system and then there is the version that I'm using which is stock alike so it's smaller and this this part pack is all about realistic beautifully designed parts um highly encourage you to check it out if you if you like building things that are real that look real that are accurate this is your mod you know we, we saw some PSLV parts there's the atlas engines um there is pretty much any of the major parts that you can find with atlas or ULA um there's some other things going on Saturn rockets again we had the Indian PSLV parts as well so there's just a lot of stuff going on here and I thought again as I always try to do what better way to showcase it than actually put it into action here so this is an Atlas 5 and one of the things I would highly kind of recommend is you might need to tweak fuel levels at launch because this thing as I kind of showed at the end there was barely breaking a 1.0 thrust to weight ratio in atmosphere which is it's not good that's not ideal um because that means you're you're really not getting off the ground in any realistic time frame and so you might need to lower fuel and again this is a conversion from this is based on um you know a real scale solar system product kind of scaled down and so because of that I, I think maybe that's why it gets a little strange so I did put on those SRBs to make it jump off the pad, which it did. Uh, but kind of the result of that is, and I think this would have been fixed. You can see that beautiful separation. This has such good animations. It has really cool things that happens. Uh, really cool and interesting, realistic design to each of these parts. I absolutely love it. But you, you do want to probably scale down your fuel. I think that would probably solve a lot of the issues. If I had scaled it down, it would have boosted my thrust to weight ratio up. And it would have also, honestly, just kind of shortened the burn time. Because that thing burned for a long time. I think that single core stage got us on a um, interplanetary trajectory. It kind of took us out of the solar, or the uh, sphere of influence of Kerbin. So, uh, I just kind of want to showcase the immense power of just two stages, really. Pretty incredible. Um... And again, it wasn't lifting a very heavy payload. As you can see, the satellite on top there, kind of small. Not not really that big. And so, you know, it's just something that, again, you, you probably have to balance it yourself a little bit, which is not that big of a deal. I don't think it was a huge issue. It's just, again, something to consider. And I thought, you know, let's just showcase how much you know, this thing has in terms of power because we, we just were going to go graze against the sun. And redeployed. <laughs> Excellent. So we've gone ahead and deployed our spacecraft. Again, these are not, uh, these are just standard KSP engines. I, I kind of just put on like a little stock satellite. That way people could see it. But again, this is a really great mod. If you if you just want accurate, you know, if you're doing any kind of recreations in KSP, these might be one of the things you want to look at because these will give you the most beautiful, accurate looking parts, I think, that you can find. And, and that's, that's good. I mean, there's videos where you just want to make things accurate. Maybe you're doing recreations. Great mod to have. And um, as you can see here, we are quickly approaching the sun. I'm tempting fate. You can see these solar panels do not like the heat. But yeah, I just thought we would showcase just how powerful this was. This was not a huge satellite with a lot of power to it either. <laughs> we had just a few small engines on there. And I thought, all right, let's just, let's just propel ourselves out of the solar system because that would be kind of fun, right? It's just, it's very powerful, so you do need to balance it, but the realism, the level of detail is extraordinary. Like, it's probably one of the best modeled parts or texture packs that I have ever seen um, in KSP. So there's a lot of attention to detail. It just looks beautiful, and it, it really, I don't know, if you, if you just love space crafts in general and you want a realistic look to it, this is your pack. And you can see here... If you look at our mission time, it's going to take us about a year to get to ELO, which is <laughs> its pretty incredible. If we pull up the transfer um, window planner here, you'll see, again, because we're, we're just about to cross the threshold of ELO, which is a long way normally, but we did it in a year. If we plot it out here, let's see, four years. That would normally take you four years. So we were cruising using the uh, sun kind of give us a boost there. 
but nonetheless that's pretty incredible so these parts are powerful but they're good too and i highly suggest it and thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video hit that like button and if you would like to see more subscribe and of course as always i'll see you next time